chili beef lettuce wraps. Cooking should never be a chore. The more you cook, the more confident you become. That way, you actually start to enjoy it. And that's the key to good cooking. Have a bit of fun along the way. This is minced beef and minced pork. The pork needs to sit in there, otherwise the beef's going to dry out. It's really important to season the mince before you cook it. Pan, nice and hot. Touch of olive oil. Mince in. Break it up like that. Really helps to sort of separate it so we can fry it off with a lot of colour. With your spoon, just go through. And start breaking that up. The most important thing to remember is mince is made up of cheap cuts, brisket, belly, and short rib. So it needs help. And frying off the mince for colour is so important. If this pan wasn't hot, your mince is just going to boil. There's a horrible grey colour on there. And there's no flavour on your mince. Taste a little bit. Mmm. Tastes delicious. It's seasoned beautifully. See how crispy it's going. Take it much further than you've ever taken mince before. Nice and crispy. Smells incredible. And draining it is crucial. It keeps the mince nice and crispy. And you get rid of that excess fat. That's lovely. Now, let's wipe out the pan. Don't wash it. Low gas. Now we're going to add texture to the mince. Finely chopped chilli, ginger, garlic, and spring onions. Spring onions give the sort of mince a really nice freshness, because it just gives that crunch nice and thinly. Now, I'm going to fry off the chilies, the ginger, and the garlic first. Sesame seed oil. Teaspoon only in. Garlic, chilli, ginger in. Fry that off nicely. And the sesame seed oil just lifts up the whole flavour. Touch of brown sugar. That starts to really caramelise the chilli, the garlic, and the ginger. Mince in. Now, my fish sauce. That gives it the saltiness. You can see now why it was so important to get that mince really crispy, because nothing's going soggy. It's staying really crispy. Fresh lime. That makes the mince fragrant. And then lime juice. Roll it. And squeeze that in there. Incredible. I've got the salty. I've got the heat. I've got the sweetness. Now I've got the acidicness as well. And then finally, my spring onions in. Right at the last minute, so I've got crunch in there as well. Smells amazing. Literally cook the mince now with sort of 30 seconds to go. Gas off and take it out. Looks incredible. Smells so inviting. To go with the chilli beef, I'm making a simple sweet and spicy dipping sauce so everyone can dress the crispy mince to their own taste. Dipping sauce, a little teaspoon of the brown sugar soy sauce. Gives it a nice sort of dark, rich colour. Sesame seed oil, a tablespoon, and just top that up with a tablespoon of olive oil. That stops the sesame seed oil becoming too rich. A teaspoon of fish sauce, and then a touch of chilli. You leave the seeds in again. I want the heat in that sauce. So impressive. An amazing show off. Centerpiece. Lime juice in. And the coriander. Chop it through once. Give that a little mix up. Just check the seasoning. Mm, that's lovely. Nice and rich. Now the lettuce. I'm going to use baby gem because it's really nice and durable and sort of quite strong. So you just sort of sit these nice trimmed lettuce leaves around. Now, the exciting part, to serve. Take your lettuce up, spoon in your mince, and then a little touch of dressing, just a little drizzle. Nice. And that's the secret of having good, easy, relaxed food, is that you just help yourself. Food that looks and tastes a million bucks doesn't have to be complex. This dish is as fun to cook as it is to eat. Green papaya salad. This is a great salad to serve at a party. It's delicious and robust enough to last the whole evening without wilting. <laughs> 
first off, these are a little dried shrimp. You can buy them anywhere. They smell almost sort of of the seabed into the pestle mortar. For this salad, inspired by my travels across Thailand, I'm starting by making a wonderfully spicy paste. A little salt in there. In. Just break them up. This paste is like a staple ingredient in Thailand. That's what we're looking for. Almost, it's like a powder. Right, next, just one clove of garlic. Slice up the garlic. And get that into the pestle mortar. Bird's eye chili, incredibly hot, powerful, but wow, it does give an amazing kick to the paste. In to the mix. Now, a couple of tablespoons of brown caster sugar. That softens the blow with the chili. And then, just to get that nice sour taste, a little bit of hot water into this tamarind paste. It's a really tart but sweet paste. One tablespoon in. Fish sauce. Now, it's got that almost sort of pickly smell, slightly salty, but the flavor is intense. Two tablespoons in. Bring that together and give it a really good mix. Some lime juice in half. Another touch of sort of tartness. So the paste is nice and thick and fragrant, but it's got the heat, the sourness, the tartness. Incredible. Green papaya. Stand it up, give it a little peel. You can find green papaya in local Asian shops and bigger supermarkets. And as it doesn't wilt like more delicate veg, it's perfect for robust salads like this. I'm gonna grate it. And look, that's what I want. These thin slithers. Next, a nice, rich, sweet banana shallot. Nice. Some carrot. Carrot gives it another texture. Now, lift all that and mix it. Finish that off with Thai basil and fresh coriander. Thai basil is a much more fragrant basil. It's stronger and it's slightly thicker as well. Like papaya and tamarind paste, you can get Thai basil in good supermarkets and independent Asian stores, but normal basil works well too. Next, prepare the crunchy topping. Pan on and toast some peanuts. Chop the nuts, but it gives a really nice crunch. In they go. Roll them around the pan. Gas off and just tip them out. Now for the exciting part. We're going to dress the salad. A nice spoon of dressing in to the papaya. Mix that in. And then finally, a nice general sprinkling of roasted nuts. And that is one delicious, very fragrant, very robust green papaya salad. So easy to make and guaranteed not to go limp. A perfect party salad. And with such incredible colors, textures, and bold, exciting flavors, it's sure to grab your guests' attention. Red mullet with sweet chili sauce. Cooking is about being adventurous and having the confidence to go off piste and being a little bit more daring. So when you start combining peanuts, chili flakes, and this amazing fish, red mullet, trust me, you're in for an amazing treat. We're gonna make a really nice, light, sweet chili sauce. First off, your chili. Off with the top in half. And those seeds inside are very powerful. Incredibly hot, but full of flavor. Garlic, two cloves of garlic. Slice the garlic, nice and thin, so it helps to puree the chilies in the pestle mortar. Garlic in, such a salt, a little touch of sugar in. And then start grinding. Push down first. The salt and the sugar really helps the puree, the chili and the garlic. Fish sauce, always a base to a chili sauce. Two tablespoons in, and a touch of rice wine vinegar. Fish sauce gives it the saltiness, the vinegar gives it a nice acidic wake up. Three tablespoons 
of olive oil. Nice. Mix that up. Beautiful. Look at it. The colours. Incredible. Now, spring onions. I want the texture and the crunch. Spring onions in the coriander. Slice it once. In. Fresh lime. And that goes brilliantly with the red mullet. Just really wakes up the chilli, the garlic, and reminds the sauce that we're serving it with fish. Now taste. Mmm. Wow. That's delicious. Look at that. Beautiful. The longer that chilli sauce sits there, the better it gets. Now, for the peanuts and chilli, that's going to coat the top of the red mullet. Peanuts in. Salt in. That helps to really grind the peanuts down. Some beautiful dried chilli flakes. Creates a nice sort of warm heat. I'm using fresh chilli for the sauce, but dried chilli flakes for the coating, which will really crunch up when cooking. Just a little bit of the coriander. Mix the coriander in to the peanuts. And look, I like them quite textured. I don't want them too small as a powder, otherwise they'll burn, but crushed lightly. To coat the fish with the chilli and peanut seasoning, in a separate bowl, beat two eggs along with a splash of fish sauce. Take your fillet, lay in your red mullet, dip it in, shake up your peanuts, and then in. And make sure you push that down, cover that red mullet. Oh, beautiful. Now make sure that pan's really nice and piping hot. If you put the fish in and the pan's cold, all those wonderful peanuts and chilli is just going to slide off the fish. So we need to sear it in and get it nice and crisp. In and lay away from you. Beautiful. If the pan starts getting a little bit too hot, get your olive oil and just place another teaspoon of olive oil around the outside so it starts to heat up as it hits the centre. And it really helps to stay so much more in control and turn nice and gently. You want that nice sort of toasted, sautéed crispness, which adds a really lovely flavour. Tilt the pan and just baste the top of the red mullet with that really nice piping hot olive oil. You've got that really nice roasted crunch and it goes brilliantly with that soft sweetness of that fish inside. Gas off and just leave them sitting in there and finish with lime. And just go over each one. Now, we take them out. And the sauce, a touch on the bottom, and the tail of each fish. Now to round that off, serving some fragrant rice, sauté broccoli, amazing. And there you have a delicious peanut encrusted red mullet with a wonderful sweet chilli sauce. Cooking with chilies isn't all about blow your head off heat. This dish uses the exciting taste of a chilli, but has a deliciously elegant and subtle flavour.